What's up lads, Joshua, and welcome back to the trading series. I said I would try and try, you know, to trade again, um, and, you know, it's been about probably four months since I did 0 to 100k, so I'm coming back, and I'm going to try and trade from 100,000 coins to 250,000 coins. Last year, I did 100k to 500k, but because I'm new to trading again on next gen, you know, I haven't traded in about four months, probably, um, it's going to take a little bit of a while to, you know, sort of settle into the rhythm, and I'm still going to be doing other videos, you know, I'm going to be doing my, my pink slips, my wagers, my pack openings, my squad builders, my road to glories, there's only going to probably be about two or three, maybe one or two um, episodes of this per week because I don't want to spam trading anymore. You know, it is very, very boring to do uh, if you tire yourself out from it. You know, if you just do it, you know, pretty much to exhaust yourself out on trading, you know, spending hours a day, you know, just trying to find deals. It really does get the better of you and uh, unfortunately it does make you want to quit. But um, I'm actually going to do like one or two episodes a week and hopefully that is good enough for you guys. But if you guys look to buy some coins, you know, if you cannot trade, at all and you just want to get the simpler way to get coins do be sure to check the link in the description for UT coins for you selling for £8.50 on the Xbox and £9 on the PlayStation use the code JG942 of course get 5% off so now let's get straight into this video and let's start talking about some purchases that I'm making right here um, I'm basically just going with a chemistry style trading I, I I had no intention of trading when I started doing this but I was like you know what I'm gonna try and trade and see how it goes because uh, as, as a lot of you guys know, if you've been following me from FIFA 12, uh, well FIFA 13, sorry, um, I, I actually used to do a lot of trading. My tr channel was pretty much all about trading, and then just one day, you know, I, I reached a million coins after, tr you know, attempting it from zero. Um, but unfortunately, after that, I just did not want to trade anymore. I tried it on FIFA 14, but it's not, you know, uh, I got from zero to 100k pretty decently. Um, I should, I definitely should have kept going because, you know, the profit was there at the time. But unfortunately, I just wasn't making the most of it. Um, but now, you know, I'm back and hopefully we can get this 250,000 coin journey undergo and, uh, you know, the trading is actually going pretty decent at the moment. I think there's about 20 trades in this episode and you're basically seeing it in the background whilst I talk about some things. Um, and I don't really have, like, any ideas what to talk about on this series because I guess I can just talk about the profits uh, and, of course, you know, uh, certain, you know, certain tips that you could be doing or, you know, mistakes that you shouldn't be making because that is a mistake that I just made there. 2,100 coins for the mailer and, unfortunately, I'm going to have to sell him on for 2200 and uh, of course if you guys can do massive take away the you know the five percent ea tax i've probably lost about 50 to 70 coins there so pretty much of a bad buy but mistakes are going to be made you know fifa 14 is you know the trading is a lot harder in my opinion i used i used to trade so easily on fifa 13 but this is a little bit harder it does you know it's more time consuming but if you want those coins and you can't afford the coins you know just to, to buy them then obviously this is the only way to uh, to sort of get a nice ultimate team together you know by trading so um if you have you know if you have like sort of decoded the trading tip that i'm using at the moment please don't leave it in the comments because this is like the only trading tip that works for me i'm basically trading with chemistry style players and it seems to be working pretty well at the moment so whilst it's working pretty well i would you know highly suggest that you do not leave it in the comments you know if you do manage to know you know uh, find out what trading tip i'm using because obviously that's going to royally screw me over and I'll probably just delete the comment because uh, I'm trying to get 250,000 coins as you know as quick as possible but if more of you guys know about this trading tip then of course a lot of people um, are going to start doing it and I'm going to lose out on profit so hopefully uh, you guys you know respect that and uh, you know you're looking forward to seeing some more trading but uh, this is basically just like an introduction to the to the series it's going to be 100k to fight 250k um, and not 500k because that is a little bit of a too big uh, of a gap and if we do manage to to complete that 250,000 coins I can guarantee you now we will go from 250k to 500k in the next series so this is episode one you know we're just getting a nice little bit of trading uh, under you know underway uh, we're selling a few players here and that has been pretty much the end of the episode sorry I haven't talked much about the you know of course the, the players that are in the background but I will definitely start talking about them more you know in later episodes and start giving you more trading tips and stuff uh, but this is just like an introduction to say that I am back I'm gonna start trading again but don't expect too much because I'm only going to be doing one or two, maybe two or three a week. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. Read. If we could hit 500 likes, that would be awesome. And uh, I know you guys would like to see trading because, you know, it helps a lot of you guys out. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. Read. And subscribe to our channel if you're new around here. Follow me on Twitter, Adrick, and apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.